Just Dance 2021. Lockdowns will never be the same again. Close the gyms, take our freedom, shut down public pools, saunas and spas. We don't care because we, we, we dance. Ooh, I feel like dancing. Okay. Dancing. So there we are. 2020 has turned its page. Out with the old shit, pardon my French, and in with the new release of Just Dance. Now to start this review off, I've never been a dancer per se. In fact, I was the awkward one sucking on my straw in the back of the corner of a dance club. Can we just take that straw out of your mouth? If I was even lucky enough to get in wearing the clothes my grandmother had bought me. And dancing? Boy oh boy! Seeing me dancing was as rare of an occasion as witnessing the dinosaur extinction. Or having two solar eclipses at once. But as the years passed, the awkwardness slowly faded. And the feeling of actually caring what everyone else thought about me was replaced with a fat I don't give a flying piece of hippopotamus dung. Fuck you! Fuck you! And fuck you! So I released my buttery smooth hips into this world. Now, when our government has locked the doors to normal human behavior, we just need to shake our asses at home. And trust me, there is no better way to do it than with Just Dance 2021. Now, I bought my copy for PS5. Also, I got a camera for PS5 and blew the dust off my PS4 motion controller sticks. And that was it. No calibration, just point the camera at yourself. Switch on the sticks and just dance. Your every movement will be captured with an amazing precision. And I, but you know, I'm getting way ahead of myself. Uh, what is just dance? Nobody sucks a straw in the corner. The Just Dance series originated from Just Dance Wii game in 2009. Uh, which, which has players follow the dance movements of on-screen figures with popular songs playing in the background. Players can try solos, duets, trios and quadrats and a number of alternative routines. It's developed by Ubisoft and yes, it is on all the platforms you can imagine. Here are about 12 releases of this franchise alone, but also a few dozen spin-offs like Smurf's Dance Party and ABBA You Can Dance. I am not even going to go into Japanese exclusive releases. This review will concentrate only on the main series and mostly on Just Dance 2021. The point of this game is to select the song you like and try to imitate the movements you see while holding motion controllers or your mobile phone in your hand. The last one is quite tricky, but I will come to that. As you dance, the game gives you points depending on how accurately you mimic the movements or time your movements. These range from OK to perfect. The points add up and the star level on your left will get higher. You can achieve 5 stars if you're really good. And you can turn it into superstar when you are amazing. And if you really wanna push the limits, mega star, which basically means that you must deeply think about what you have really done with your life. And, and I did, I did, <laughs> I did the mega star one because you know, as uh, the beers, I am amazing. You might think that you can fool the game by cheating and just randomly wiggle yourself and controllers, but no, <laughs> no, 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 no. The camera and motion sensors measure your move accuracy and positioning in the room, so it will detect every twist and turn. There are several game modes to enjoy, one of them being kids. There is, there's quite a few children's songs there specifically created for this game, 10 routines to be exact. I'm, I'm not interested in that at all. <laughs> this section is not for me. But you know what? It's good to know that there's something there for children's amusement as well. But sadly this game mode is a bit restricted, since you don't even earn any bonus points while in there, but I will come to that uh, later on. Quick play is basically the mode where you can choose your own song and dance away. I spent most of my time in there. But there's a caveat, a rhinoceros in the center of the room. You only have 40 songs in the main game. So <laughs> this might seem much, but trust me it isn't. You will go through them all in two or three evenings of gaming. But, yes there's a but, a saving grace, an angel with its wings wider than the banker's waistline. You can buy unlimited mode, which is a subscription service giving you access to over 600 songs. <laughs> Did you hear me friends? You can buy the subscription, 600 songs. Mm. Just Dance costs about 29 to 50 pounds, depending on which platform you choose to play it on. Or will you go digital or physical edition? But the online subscription costs about 25 dollars. 
a year or five dollars a month or you know so this needs to be said to enjoy this game you need to spend at least 50 to 75 pounds the smaller subscription prices are insane 250 2 pound 50 for 24 hours that is insane you, you need to be drunk or stupid or or better yet both Quick play has some fun but questionable features, as mentioned duets and triplets and so on, so basically you can download an app for your phone, connect it via Wi-Fi network that is connected with your PS or whatever console it uses, and use your mobile phone as a motion controller. Thus, all your friends can dance at the same time, so you can compare who, who manages to do it more precisely, or who gains more points, or just, you know, have fun while doing it, uh, you know, all at once. But the accuracy is sadly far from perfect, and holding my mobile phone while enthusiastically waving my hands into directions only God knows about feels a bit irrational. I can imagine safely holding my old Nokia 3510i but aggressively wiggling my 6.5 inch 1000 euro phone with, with my fingers barely managing to grip it doesn't feel safe at all. Plus, my Samsung phone has this Bixby button on the side, so when I'm dancing and gripping my phone, I always accidentally press this button, meaning that the app will start and overwrite the dance app. So basically, I struggle half of the song to close Bixby, get back into the game, otherwise none of my dance movements register. So it's why? Well, it is so... It is weird. It is weird. It is weird. Now let's say you bought the game and you bought the subscription. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now once you have this nice amount of songs, you can dive into Just Dance World Challenge, where people around the world compete against each other. I've done it quite a few times. Basically 300 people in the same server having a dance off at the same time and three will be rewarded, the top three of course. There are three different songs per one competition and accumulated points will be summarized into your rank. I usually finish in the top 70 or something. This is quite awesome, uh, this is really good game mode and uh, definitely something that makes this game worth playing. Uh, release the inner party animal, yes yes yes. But, but like in the Geats mode, here as well, you will not receive your mojo points. But what are these mysterious mojo points? Once you have completed one song, you will receive mojo points, which is basically a virtual currency to unlock new content, for example, for songs, avatars and artwork. These mojos can only be spent through gift machine, which is basically like this, you know, candy machine, you put coins in and you get candy. Each time you finish a song with more than a thousand points or thousand points, you will receive mojos. Classic songs earn 30 mojos, Just Dance Unlimited, if you have spent money, World Dance Floor songs earn about 45 mojos per song. As long as your balance is more than 100 mojos, the gift machine will appear and it will be available for you to use at any time. With those rewards, you can customize your profile, avatar pictures, different backgrounds, skins, aliases, and damn, there's a lot of aliases. Sadly, sadly, you can only wear one at a time, but the list is as long as a takeout menu in Chinese restaurant. Of course, you can customize your playlist, take part in daily challenges for more mojo coins, and, you know, just enjoy dancing overall. This game was made using real dancers, with all their faces painted white, which in our modern idiocracy is most surely racist. But the effort and fun that went into making this game truly shows. So as you play you also gain levels, which basically is my favorite part in any game. That basically shows how much time you have spent dancing. And I googled it and the maximum level you can achieve is 5000. And that's insane. To be honest, I hate games that cap their progression early on, and I always stop playing after maximum level. So like Guitar Hero, it had maximum level of 20. Ridiculous. That took me like 18 hours. At, at most. Ridiculous. Stopped immediately after that, although I loved the game, but you know, I felt I'm wasting time if my progression doesn't count. So that's about it. I can't say more about this game, it's like explaining how coffee machine works. There is no funner way to shake the fat off your hips and getting your daily amount of mandatory steps 
than enjoying Just Dance 2021. This here was my experience with the game and to be honest, the interactivity component is through the roof. And dancing games as dancing games go, this is one of the best and deserves 10 out of 10. But, you know, as a game, plus the experience, plus replayability, the value for dollar and the value for game itself, for pound to pound, I'd say it's about 8 out of 10. So I hope that you at least enjoyed this review. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell, and if you dare, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas, and thanks for watching. Till next time.